So hello and welcome to Oakfield Farm. I'm Andrew of Border Farm Games, and we're back in action, practically where we left off the previous time. And we must get cracking because there is quite a lot of stuff to do. Um, if you check out, you can see that the cows are about to run out of total mixed ration, which is not good. Absolutely horrible. So, and so we must go. And we've got a lot of things to do. Um, I just realized at the end of the other video that I have pretty much all the sorting out to do with the animals um, like they need some water well practically except for cleaning out everything is due so we gotta go If I remember well enough, which is absolutely not sure, uh, we have a few silage bales left, so practically what we need is some hay, and then we have straw, in, as in making some DMR for the cows. That's nice. Uh, let's turn this off so that we move a bit faster. And, excuse me. And then they can take quite the amount of grass. And I'm fairly certain that very, very soon uh, the screen will be yelling that there is no more place for wood pellets. So, there is stuff to do at the end of a busy day, nonetheless. And the end of the busy day is not even the end of the busy week. Since I have practically have no weekend this time around, um, whatever we got planned with Rob is most probably not going to happen before midweek next week. Just simply because we haven't got the the time to record together. As far as I know, he's got stuff to do right now. Um, and then tomorrow and on Sunday I've got stuff to do. Maybe if we can squeeze in some time um, tomorrow in the evening, then there will be something, say on Monday or on Tuesday. But there is no... Too much at least. There is some hope, but not too much. Also, I didn't window this part. Oh well. One day.
I'm fairly sure that the cow will cows will eat up all that field. And it seemed so much. I mean it's like what two and no three loads and then some. And this loading wagon takes pretty much like fifty-two thousand. So animals got really really hungry in this one. Yeah, it's full. Great. Let's move. By which I mean let's grow with 13 to 14 kilometers per hour over the field. Oh well. just I really want to move quickly and I can't stupid thing is holding me back it's so bad Let me do that. Oh, yeah. oh, have you seen that? That door missed the wheel of the tractor just by a hair's width. Seriously, it almost hit it. Oh, it would have looked funny. You could witness that and a dozen other minor mistakes. Emptying grass at the middle of nowhere. Ah, oh, let's go in a bit. For realism. Not into that hole. Yeah. Make it hungry bastard. Also, please check out that now they are in the actual corridor they supposed to be. So this map is playing games with us. Anyway. Let's get moving real quick.
and now that I see how filling up all the feed types for the animals I think it's it's a good idea to to turn that one and feed it into grass fields just because I will need a lot of animal feed it seems And I will spend a lot of time um, with producing like hay and silage and all that good stuff. Hell, it might happen that we need to do corn silage. Uh, I mean, it's not that terrible. Because if you check out, I show you the map right away. Oh, and the TMR is just out. Yeah, as I feared. So we have quite a lot of them. Like, this one is where we are at right now. 9 is a grass field, 10 is a grass field, 8 is going to be 1, and 2 is going to be 1. I have 5, 6, and 7, which are all grass fields, and I have 35, which is also a grass field. And I, Oh, and I have 42, which is a grass field. I don't know how many of these, of these bushes are actually there. Uh, and there is my combine, just by the way, if you've been wondering. And then uh, 40, 41, 14, 13, 12 is still up for buying. Maybe alongside with some of these here on these grass fields. Uh, yeah, 23, 22, 21, 20, 18, 16, those all are grass fields, you see. So I don't think that animals should hunger in this farm. And I will do my best to prevent it from happening. It's gonna be great. And no animals will die. They will give me lots and lots of produce. And then I'm gonna marry Scarlett Johansson, we're gonna have a hundred babies, and we're never gonna die. Nah, no, just joking. I'd never marry Scarlett Johansson. is too good for me, let's be honest. Alright, quickly we row up that small part over there, pick it up and feed it to the cows and forget about that disaster. Uh, quite a distance to walk in it. Then we can move on with the day. I mean, we've got quite a lot to do. Oh, no, not that one. Why do you do that to me? Yeah, yeah, like this one with the guy that's steering. 
Uh, it would be really nice uh, if the default setting for that guiding line or whatever is the name would be off. It's probably uh, placed in an XML file in place, plain sight. It's just I'm too dumb to find it and do it, or lazy, or both. Anyway, I check out, and if it's not the case, maybe I let the creator know the idea. I mean, I highly doubt he's watching it. So I gotta go the extra mile. do that in the giants forums or something like that or on github if there is an option we'll see I mean why do you need the guiding line when you're clearly not using the thing maybe he just forgot it I don't know but Anyway, and now some of you may say, Nah, you shouldn't do that. I totally like it the way it is. Don't be an arse. And I still will be. Unless you call out, call me out in the comments or something like that. I mean, I can't read minds. Can you? Hush. Shoo, shoo, stupid birds. Ah, is it? Oh, it's up. Stupid, stupid me. Let's pick it all up. Look, what's this? It's some grass. It's some grass. Hey, Greg, your grass. Pick it all up. That's some kitty stuff I used to teach, if you've been wondering. And the idea is that one of the kids uh, keep leaving his stuff behind. Uh, and the others are warning him and it goes with pencils and ruler and book and whatnot. That's teaching kids like how do we call a book in English or a rubber. So practically basic school stuff. the useless knowledge I have, seriously. Oh, you see? It's already yelling. No more space to place new pallets, wool, at sheep! 
Right now, move those. No time to be wasted. Right now, in fact, you should have done it tomorrow, yesterday, not tomorrow, yesterday. Excuse me, I'm quite tired when recording this. As I said, I've had hell of a week, and it's not over yet. But show must go on, as they say. So I risk my good reputation, what's left of it anyway, with recording complete nonsense. But then again, I record complete nonsense even when I'm not tired. Ah, who am I kidding? I'm always tired. But there ain't no rest for the wicked. Money ain't grow on trees. Oh, it's something like that. I promise I stop singing. I have a certificate to prove that my voice is a WMD. So come on. Reverse the right way, you stupid thing. I'm going to break you. Oh, that will do. Animal stab. Sheep cannot do their thing with the thing. That that's gonna be sorted out soon. And now the cows have quite the amount of grass, which is good. All they need is some TMR to be happy little cows, and then some water. Let's see what we can do about it. Uh, now I just realized, no, it doesn't have any silage. I really should stop talking, shouldn't I? So I gave the silage. To the cows. I bought some stuff to get things running. Oh, do we have a pallet fork for starters? I don't think so. We gotta ga gotta buy. Oh, we have a bear spike. Yeah, but no pallet fork. So, oh, now I keep got it. Uh, what? No. Come on, what am I doing? That one. I need a pallet fork. Let's make it nice. New Holland color. Bye. And there is no way that I go and bring that over from there. So reset. Uh huh. Let's start. This bad boy up. Put it next to the mucking bucket. Uh, no. I mean, put it next to where the mucking bucket is going to be one of these days. Uh, because the red one is for the cleaning up and the brown one ah oh, not that one just a not any good no. yeah so the brown one is for the manure hmm what have I tried to imply with buying a brown bucket for the manure. Hmm. I don't know. Ah, oh, now you can see how awesomely I can move pallets. 
Also, where should I put them? Because I clearly won't be selling them just now. I think I just pull them out like this for now and then we can sort them out in a peaceful manner. Find that. And in before they start to spawn behind my back. Look at all these wool guys. Uh, also, I really, really badly need to move that piece of island to the place where I keep the rest of them. So much thing to do, and so very, very little time. If I wanted, I could do like 10 episodes straight on. It's a good thing I like talking, and it's a bad thing I have nothing to talk about, seriously. Uh, unless I start awfully boring story times, I may do that. What should I talk about this time? Um, did I already mention that I've been scouting for the better part of um, 21 years now? Yeah, since 1998. Uh, I was a wee little boy back then. And I still have some part to play it. Now that looks great. Oh, okay, better. So it still has some part to play in my life. Uh, I think I just put that over here. It really won't bother anyone. I think I, I did a story time about that once, didn't I? Uh, again. Perhaps I shouldn't do story time because I can't pay attention to what I'm really doing. Okay, that's fine. Now let's bring some water. So I've got quite the experience with nature and doing these, uh, I wouldn't say manly things, but, but things like the stuff you do while farming and all that. Mind though, I don't like gardening as hobby gardening. Like doing nice shrubberies and, and hedges and all that. Uh, it's not my deal. It's, it's not my cup of tea. To say that. Uh, you know what my cup of tea is? To leave machinery that I don't need in the way. That's absolutely my cup of tea. Is it open? Great. Let's park it away. So yeah, uh, but I I like 
me some lumberjacking in real life it's not as confusing and repetitive as in this game uh, I like cooking out doing this, this barbecue stuff and all that awesomeness I like working wood and all that. Mm. I don't know why I parked here, but something tells me that I will need that one later. So now, ah, uh, you know I like sitting, but and what you do in this game is sitting and sitting and sitting in your machine, but. It's not always that. Sometimes you gotta do things like opening gates and all that. At least in typical British maps, and that's one of the reasons I love them. I mean, the British countryside is looks looks awesome, and it, and I'm absolutely. Uh, in love with the idea of, of um, having shrubberies as the natural uh, borders of your of your of your property like this this encircling stuff uh, while Encircling was a horrible thing to do from a socialist standpoint. I think it was a good thing. Uh, and it gives a unique feel to the British countryside. now uh, they are getting there but still not quite I'm starting to get the idea that while this I front IBC tank is wonderful it's going to give me lots and lots of extra work So, yeah, and you see now I dodged uh, story time, which is good because I have no idea of what which story to tell of all the many, many great memories that I hold dearly from my days of scouting. Being young and innocent. Maybe if I do, I'm doing something that requires less attention.
Now we brought over what six thousand liters straight. That should be clocking around what eighteen thousand. Let me check it out. Right? Nah, we we just we're just hitting sixteen. All right. Uh, is it? Any, uh, let's do eighteen. We can start this all over again the next day anyway. I mean seriously, what were the the designers thinking with allowing them cows to drink? How they dare to drink water? So much work to paddle that water from the filling point to the water trough. Oh, it's 8.13 game. You see time is flying, really. When you got stuff to do. And really, I have nothing else than stuff to do. Uh, okay, we can say that water situation is almost good. I mean, why to drive it into the green when it will get back? To orange soon anyway. And we need to do the same with the sheep as well. Whoa! There are fences and stuff which aren't good for the tractor. It's not a good idea to hit them. Load up. It's so good this Ford tractor. I love it so much. That's why I scratch its paint job with drilling machine. Uh, we're fine. I already know that the sheep's gate is opening inwards. That one I learned. Oh! Don't step on the water trough. How are they doing? Yeah, they are quite down on water too. So they can use a load or two. In Ah, no, I think I, 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 sh I showed you the the nice GDR water tanker in 17 that I used all the time with the three big barrels on a uh, regular uh, fortress or water what trailer. Uh, now that took 9000 liters. Uh, it was seriously easy to do that with, with the, with the uh, GDR trailer. If I had all the time in the world, which I don't have obviously, uh, I'd convert it over, or 
or at least attempted it. I mean, it can't be that difficult to convert over a stupid water clear trailer. It's it's like basic stuff. Uh, I don't think it had any custom scripts or, or anything like that. Because that's that's the problem area with that. Because I don't do Lua or LUA programming. You see, English is not the only language I don't speak. Oh, again the cars, what it looks like. Oh, one more turn. And then we call it a day. Then I move on to do regular stuff that people do when it's Friday night. What am I doing in here? Again the yapping, you see? It's a bad thing that with doing let's play videos the idea is kind of the opposite what I should do. So it's it's like talking while doing the thing with the playing I certainly would do time-lapse videos if I wasn't too lazy to edit them it's a bad thing really Oh, let's... where are they? Ah, the Spitfires! It's one of the most awesome features of this, this map. I'm so happy that I can show this to you. It's so great. Oxygen David, we bow before you. You are the god of map making. Seriously guys, those things are quite awesome. Alright, I think this is it for the water paddling for now. Yay, it's in the yellow. Just barely, but that will do for us now. Alright. I close the door. Before they decide to run away. Because the next thing you... Notice that one of these buggers is standing behind you, ready to end your life. Just the way I am ready to end this video. So, thank you very much for watching. Uh, if you've got stuff to stay, stay stuff to say, don't hold it back. Feel free to comment, like, and subscribe. And also don't forget my Facebook page, you will find the link down in the description. And see you next time, bye bye.